All new at six, this is pretty cool. Scientists are now performing surgeries in outer space. A tiny robot successfully performed a surgery on the ISS while being controlled by doctors down here on Earth. It's really unbelievable, yeah. right? As Fox 35's Esther Bauer shows us, this new tech could help astronauts while also saving lives on Earth, too. We're here at Jetty Park and the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station is right behind me. This is where a surgery robot about the size of my forearm and weighing only two pounds lifted off. Researchers want to take medicine to new heights and new places with this cutting edge tool. So with the surgeon you can control it from right here in Lincoln, Nebraska and the robot performed tests up on the International Space Station. You heard that right. Six surgeons on Earth successfully controlled a robot 250 miles away in space. We're going to make little robots that go inside the body rather than big robots that reach in from the outside. Virtual Incision is the company behind the robot. Co-founder Shane Farader is now working with NASA and the military to perfect their technology. Here you can see the surgeons using a console, telling the robot arms where to go and what to do. They can see the robot's perspective on a large screen in front of them. <laughs> this is really to get medicine where medicine may be hard to come by. That's that's exactly right. So that's one of the things we're most excited about is the applications here on Earth. Space Coast surgeons are also excited. Honestly, it's a game changer. Right now in the United States, one third of counties do not currently have access to a local surgeon, and that shortage could rise to more than 30,000 within the next 10 years. If they can go to a centralized location and there's no surgeon there, the robot is there and they can do the surgery, that'll be uh, uh, amazing and it's going to just basically change the world to be honest with you. And this surgery robot will come back down to earth in the coming months. Researchers will analyze the data it collected and tell me more experiments are already in the works with their tiny surgeon. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.